What's going on guys, Knowledge and Self-Determination. So this video is gonna be pretty quick because I just wanted to go over um, this, this topic, this question that I have for all you guys. Um, because there's a new thing with white supremacists now. These motherfuckers, man, what the fuck is white civil rights? Can somebody explain to me when white people in America have ever been stifled? When their voice has ever been stymied in this country? When they were never allowed to be themselves. When, 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 at what point in time in American history has that been the case for fucking white people? <clears throat> Listen, I'm gonna tell you, man, <clears throat> you guys are a bunch of spoiled bitches on some real shit. Because here's the thing, that's just like Christians in this country saying that anti-bullying bans, bans on bullying, anti-bullying, that whole, that whole little, uh, uh, whole little uh, issue that, that, that gained some, um, some some leverage a few years ago. Christians are fighting against anti-bullying because, because they feel as though they have the right to voice their Christian opinions and force it down your throat and chump you into submission. They feel as though they have the right to do that shit. <clears throat> but this isn't about religion at all. This is just me making a contrast. People are fighting back against other people's bullshit. People are fighting back against white supremacy. You know what I'm saying? You're not allowed to just go around and just call people whatever the fuck you want or do whatever the fuck you want to people without there being consequences to you. And this is what these spoiled ass, bitch ass, punk ass white boys are out there and these white chicks, these white supremacist motherfuckers are out here clamoring about. Their right, their right to fuck you over is being taken from them. And they don't like it. So they want white civil rights and shit. They cry and complain about affirmative action when their women are the ones who, who benefit more from affirmative action than anybody. If a black person got a job, it's because they were overqualified for that fucking job. Believe it. Believe it. Especially in corporate America. But I ask the question again. What in the fuck is white civil rights? What is white civil rights? Here are some examples. Um, Phil from the Advice Show, I gotta give him props for always putting these uh, putting these uh, videos out, right? So there was a white woman. Um, man, what is this bitch name? Um, and yeah, I'm calling her bitch, cause fuck her. So this bitch, Stephanie Sebi Strempel, right? She hit this black kid, black teenager at a pool, hit him twice because for some reason, black people aren't allowed at swimming pools with white people, right? And they do this shit. I've had my own experience with that. But I'm going to just talk about this right now. So she decides to put these black kids out. The black kid, and, and, and here's another thing too, man. Here's, here's the thing. See, see a, lot of, a lot of these motherfuckers are getting overly confident, you know, with their white supremacy. They feel as though they have the right to do whatever the fuck they want to you. This is an ugly white bitch, by the way. But um, they feel as though they have the right to do whatever the fuck they want to you. Because um, I can't remember the white woman's name on the advice show. But a white woman came and did a video, did an interview with Phil, and basically told him white people feel like the, the police are there for them. And their job is to get rid of or get black people the fuck out of their way. So what the police are doing now, and most of the police, police officers in black communities are white. So they feel the same way too, that it is their job to keep us in line. It is their job to be the dividing line between them and white people, or us and white people. It is their job to keep us in check and kill us and beat the shit out of us so that we're forced to do what they tell us if we don't listen. I tell you right now, I'll fight the boys all day on that shit. You ain't gonna talk shit to me. You ain't gonna treat me like, like I'm less than. Fuck you. My life is worth fighting for. So fuck you. But anyway... So this white bitch at the pool, she wants to put them out of the pool. But what's happening with these dumb white motherfuckers? In fact, no, let me get, let me get to another thing. Then there was a a, a, a black sister. I, I I'm not sure which which um black nation she was from. But she was recording with her phone of this white man who decided to question. Now, mind you, this is a, a community pool. She has her key card to get and gain access to the pool. But he decides while she's with her child. To want to question her and ask her for her ID. To show his white ass her ID. Even though he just lives in the community. He doesn't run the pool. He's not management. He just lives in the community. But he felt the need to want to question her. And felt entitled to do so. You fucking pretentious 
bitch ass motherfucker. You dog fucking piece of shit. I don't like that shit, man. So he feels as though it's his right to do that. Or what about the uh, the white bitch who called the um the police? What they call this bitch? Barbecue Becky. She called the police on a brother who wanted to um grill outside at the park. Oh, and here's the thing: other white people came to the brother's defense. Other white people came to the brother's defense. A white woman actually was taking the video and followed this bitch and kept grilling her on why she felt the need to be a fucking racist. Another white person did this. See, your white supremacy is fucked up because there are very progressive white people in this country. Very progressive white people. Those who want to see the old, the old ways kind of fall away. And they're doing things like this now. Making your idiocy viral. But the point is, but 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 another issue with this is that there aren't enough white people who are against this standing up because they don't want to be alienated or ostracized by their own people. But the white woman followed her, and this bitch actually pulled the the, the white chick the, the white chick routine, calling the cops. Oh, they're bothering me, crying with that fake ass crocodile tear shit. This was another woman questioning her and following her and asking her why she was a racist piece of shit, and her only response was to cry and call the fucking police. What a piece of fucking shit. But what about the white bitch that called the fucking police on a little girl who was selling water? I think they were in New York or something like that. Um, there, it, was a base, it was a ball game of some kind, and she was selling water, making her money. White bitch decided to call the police, and the bitch has a, um, a cannabis business, right? She was forced to walk away or forced from being a public figure in her own business because of her racism. You stupid bitch. And, 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 and the little girl was mixed that was selling the water. She was mixed. <clears throat> And I know I'm using a lot of profanity, but this shit bothers me. It bothers me to no fucking end. So, the, 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 the little girl's mother, she was a white woman. Highly, very upset about this shit. Was like, I don't see why, basically saying I don't know why she called the police on my daughter. Because when my white nieces and nephews are out here doing the same thing, making way more noise than her, nobody ever calls the police. But because she's black, they decide to call the police. See... Another thing I'm noticing too, that because of social media, white people's white supremacy and their stupidity and ignorance, it, 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 they are seeing that shit. They, they're, they're able to see it through somebody else's eyes and they don't like what the fuck they, look, they see when they look in the mirror, knowing that they are a part of this group who is that fucking stupid. But this is what white civil rights is, them fighting for the right to fucking control your life. Them fighting for the right to be able to call you a nigger or a wetback or a chink or a gook or whatever the fuck the racial slurs that they like to use, whatever the fuck they are, or for them to ride around and threaten your life and throw fucking beer bottles at you and shit. That's what white civil rights is. Them having the right to continue to act like you're fucking overseer. That's what white civil rights are. Because there is no racial disparity against white people in this country. The racial disparity is against black people in this country. And I wanted to add another thing into this too. This whole, I'm going to go ahead and jump into another subject. But I just want, I wanted to talk about that and put that out there for you guys. <clears throat> but let me let me get back to the, uh, the first story that I talked about with the, um, this, the, the white bitch that hit the, uh, the black kid. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. She knew where the fuck she was at to do that shit because I can tell you right now in my hood in Cherry Hill not a white bitch at the motherfucking new pool the new pool was the indoor pool the old pool was the outdoor pool so we called them the new pool and the old pool let us be at the old pool at the outdoor pool swimming any of the pools right let a white motherfucker come up and start slapping the kid that bitch would have got jumped and our kids would have got fucked up too I'm not bragging about that, but white people know the black people that they can victimize and treat a certain way. They know those people. Because I can tell you right now, aside from when I was a kid, I haven't had any white people just blatantly, overtly just treat, mistreat me like that. Because I don't even look like I'm a motherfucker who's going to stand for that shit. But I'm going to say this, black people, and I've said this a number of times, we need to be big on self-defense in our fucking communities. We need to be big on self-defense. Our daughters, our sons, they need to grow up knowing how to fucking fight, protect, and defend themselves, each other, and their communities. Because I don't give a fuck. I come from that school, that school of thought where I was raised not to let anybody put their motherfucking hands on me. You could be a chick or not. I don't have to beat you up as a chick, but I don't have to let you fucking hit me either. I've, I've, I've I've, I, I am a trained fighter. I've boxed. I've done martial arts, mixed martial arts. 
So I know how to combat a motherfucker without beating the brakes off of him. I know how to stop you from doing some shit to me without fucking you up. But I can tell you right now, my first snap reaction, bow, would have been to punch that bitch in her mouth. That bitch would have slapped me. My, my first reaction would have been to bang her ass in her fucking mouth. Because that's what the fuck I do. You hit me. The first thing I do is punch your ass back. Fuck the consequences after that. Bitch, you just hit me. I know I'm getting riled up, but that's how the fuck I feel about the situation. The young brother handled it right. This bitch ended up losing her job. I would say that he handled it right. And I'm going to say this also. Do not any story that I tell you about how I've handled situations in the past. Don't take that as me telling you that you should do the same thing. This is the, this is the disclaimer part. Do not use things that I've done as as a, a stepping stone or an excuse for you to do those same things. You know, because you may not be as willing as I am to suffer the consequences for your actions. I'm willing to suffer the consequences of my action. That's the kind of man I am. Nigga, on my motherfucking deathbed, I said, fuck praying. If I got burned in hell, fuck it. Everything I did, I admit I did it. And I ain't, and I ain't looking for no fucking excuses or no fucking apologies. Fuck it. It is what it is. How many of you motherfuckers got the nuts to be that motherfucking bold? Yeah, so, I'ma move on from that point. You know what I'm saying? The situation was handled right, his white bitch job is gone, her way of supporting her family has been destroyed because of her own stupidity, and she got locked up. Oh, here's another thing too. This bitch assaulted two cops. She pushed one cop up against the wall, hurt his knee, bit another cop. Now, black people can't even, can't even cross their eyes at a cop without getting fucked up or shot the fuck up. But this white bitch didn't get shot or beat the fuck up. Remember the sister. I'm going uh, I'm to I'm put something in the video. You guys should actually be watching it, seeing it right now. Remember this sister who was sitting in a restaurant. She just had a complaint and the cops threw her on the fucking ground. This white bitch put her hands on them and they didn't beat the shit out of her. Her fat, ugly, white ass. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. I, ain't got, I don't have no cut cards for that kind of shit. Anyway, I'm going to move on. I'm going to segue from that. Now. I wanted to get this dude Bakari Henderson keeps coming up, man. I don't like this kid, man. And I'm I I, I don't like this kid, man. I'm from the, bro. I'm from the school where yo, I'm from where if a motherfucker didn't like the way you were chewing your gum, you could you could get the shit slapped out of you. Yeah, I grew up around a lot of savages and shit, but I, I come from a place, man, where seriously, like real talk, like a dude like Bakari. If I was having a con fuck being civil, if I was having a conversation with this dude and he started talking all that fucking sambo ass, sellout ass black but I want to be a white boy ass bullshit I would punch this nigga in his fucking mouth on some real shit fuck a first fuck a second degree assault charge bitch fuck you I'm gonna pay a two thousand dollar fine it was worth every bit of motherfucking blood and tooth I got left on my knuckles from beating the shit out this bitch ass nigga I swear to goodness man, I swear I would punch this motherfucker in the mouth as soon as he start talking that sellout ass sand bullshit I'm a clock I would clock this dude fuck it Right? Fuck it. Anyway, the to black toxic masculinity, right? Black toxic toxic max masculinity is what this dude Bak Bakari, whatever the fuck ever, bought a black toxic toxic masculinity, right? Now, the thing about black masculinity is not that it's toxic, and whatever masculinity that we have, who the fuck did we? Who who, who were our examples in this country on how to be? Remember, I mean, 400 years of conditioning and slavery and Jim Crow and all that shit, man. Think about it. Think think about it. Who do we emulate the most? Because we don't imitate ourselves. We emulate white people while they turn around and emulate us. But our ideals or ideas on what it, oh, it is to be a woman or what it is to be a man, a lot of it is carbon copy white people shit. Now, they say, they're trying to say that black masculinity because there's, an attack, there's always been an attack on black men ever since white men went into Africa there's always been envy of black men and the wanting to get rid of us off the planet listen man white male masculinity is the most tox toxic and poisonous thing on this fucking planet because white male masculinity gets fucking atomic bomb nuclear bombs dropped on Hiroshima and fucking um and, and uh I can't believe I'm forgetting that other, um, that other state in fucking Japan. Hiroshima and Nagasaki, right? White male masculinity gets gets us the slave trade. Gets us 
fucking uh, Jim Crow for an extra 100 years. Gets black male genitals cut off and pickled in fucking jars and shit so white people can look at it. You know what I'm saying? White male mas toxic masculinity has black women being burned at the fucking stake and having their stomach slit open while they're pregnant with babies and let the baby fall out and burn with them. Cutting their nipples and areolas off, cutting off their vaginas and shit. Sick, barbaric bullshit that comes from them. Toxic masculinity. White males in this country just killing black people wholesale just because they're black. But black male masculinity is toxic? Get the fuck out of here. We're not even allowed to be masculine on some real shit. A dude like me will never be in politics. A dude like me will never be on TV. Because the first... Because there's too much truth and honesty in what I say. And America isn't about truth and honesty. It's about political correctness and stroking the egos of one fucking white bitches so they're not offended by you calling them bitches. Fuck out of here, man. Come on. Huh? Look, there ain't no cut cards, man. Fuck it. Fuck the dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Listen. If black male masculinity masculinity is toxic, fuck it. Let it be toxic to them. Don't let them stifle your masculinity. Don't let them stop you from being the man that you should be. Because black male masculinity is the only thing that's going to save us from the white man's rule. On some real shit. They are fucking terrified of us. Everything they do shows it. This, 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 this. Oh, we got to fight for white civil rights because the law isn't okay with us just ganging up on black people anymore. And I'm, bro, white dudes only get tough when they drunk, got numbers, or have a gun. This is why black male masculinity is a, is a threat to them. Because, anyway, anyway, I, I don't, I don't want to keep on going off into the little sidebar con conversations. I just want to stick to the point. So, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that. You guys let me know what you think about this black male masculinity bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And if you are a black man out here and you letting anybody, your woman, somebody else's woman, some other man, make you less than the man that you are, you should be fucking ashamed of yourself. In fact, what's the purpose of you even being alive on the same planet that I am if you're going to be a bitch for another man? Or, Lord forbid, be a bitch for another, for, for a chick? Get the fuck out of here. I'm going to say this, and then I'm going to go. I'm going I'm to I'm cut this video. I was watching a 5150 show, right? You even know what, what it is or you don't. I was watching the 5150 show, and uh, 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 there was a, a, a statement that they went over that was made by Boyce Watkins. Now, I have a, I have a lot of respect for, for Dr. Boyce Watkins, a fucking mathematician, a financial professor, man has a PhD in finance. Brilliant dude. And what he's doing for black people, I, I admire greatly. You understand? However, however, nobody is above reproach. Nobody is above criticism. This dude said, if my woman told me to do something, I'm a, I'm not even going to question her. I'm going to just ask how, ask me to jump. I'm going to just ask how high. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. You just now cut your own balls off saying that shit. While I respect my woman, I don't fucking fear her. While I respect my woman, she not going to treat me like I'm one of the fucking kids. Get the fuck out of here. Because I have no problem leaving you the fuck alone if you think I'm going to be your bitch. I have no problem being by I've been alone all my motherfucking life. I have no problem being without a stupid bitch who thinks she's going to tell me what the fuck I can and can't do. That is out of the fucking question, man. And I'm not referring to all women as bitches. So please let me say that. All women aren't bitches. But if you are the type of woman that feels as though you need to control a man, you're a bitch. Because you can't control me. Bitch, I'd rather fight you and go to jail than let you control me and tell me what the fuck to do. I'm not saying that I would do that. I'm just saying that's what I would rather do. I'm not saying that I would. But anyway, man, men, if your testicles drop, keep them motherfuckers in your sack. Don't cut your balls off for nobody. And don't let nobody cut your balls off either, man. Man, I've walked off of jobs because the supervisor thought he could talk to me any kind of way. I've invited these mu- Bitch, you- Like, you guys- <laughs> I, I'm, I'm getting crazy with the fucking flashbacks. I'll probably do a video on that flashback and shit. But, bro, I've walked off of jobs and invited the supervisor to the parking lot. Like, you think you tough? Bitch, we can go dance right now. The parking lot, big as a motherfucker. We can go dance right now. But fuck you, I ain't doing this work. Give me your badge. Take the badge and fling that motherfucker across the motherfucking building. Bitch, go find it. I'm out. And I, I better come back up here and my fucking check better be right. Playing no games with these motherfuckers, man. Fuck out of here. And now that I work for myself, man, come on, bro. Couldn't tell me what the fuck to do when I work for these niggas. 
You damn sure can't tell me shit now that I that I work for myself. But anyway, I just wanted to bring those situations to you guys' attention. Whether you've heard about them or not, let me know what you guys think. But that's my opinion on this shit. I'm 100% mad. And, you know what I'm saying? And I'm a 100% real motherfucker, too. And I'm going to tell you how real I am. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of motherfuckers don't want to deal with somebody who's truthful and honest 100% of the time. Because it makes you reflect negatively on yourself when you when you dealing with a motherfucker who not trying to hurt your feelings, but he ain't going to tell you no fucking lies either. You understand what I'm saying? Like, real talk. Like, like, like. Anyway, I ain't going to get into all of that. But. Y'all let me know what it is, man. It's not just self-determination. Holler at me on my other channel, Ballroom Boxing for Boxing Talk. Um, the Grass Skirt Lounge, if you're interested in anything cannabis-related. Holler at me, man. Um, that's, that's my company, the, uh, the Grass Skirt Lounge. If you don't fuck with it, don't fuck with it. I don't need to hear why you don't fuck with it. Just don't fuck with it. But if you do, holler at me. And I'm out. Peace.